So when was the last time you got paid and you actually thought about what is happening to my paycheck? How am I paid on a Friday and broke by Friday night? And so if that's you, then welcome to the gang. I've been that way too. In fact, I've been that way for most of my life. And the only thing that changed that, well, of course, I got into some tough, tough times financially and I ended up homeless. If you know my story, you know. Uh, the other thing that changed it is my mindset. And so one thing I'm big on on this channel, uh, whether you watch me on the Money Lab channel or whether you watch me on Middleman CEO, or by the way, guys, follow me on all platforms, Middleman CEO. My name is Sean John Stewart. Uh, most people just call me Sean John or the Middleman CEO. Uh, my goal on my channels is just to provide as many people as possible. And I know it's not one of these big channels that's blown up. And somebody asked me the other day on one of my channels, they were like, why does this video not have like tons of views? And probably people like to be entertained more than they like to be educated. That's just the world we live in. And, and so I'm not here to really entertain you. I do hope that I can educate you and entertain you at the same time. But my main goal is to flip the way you think. I call it flipping your money mindset. And so I always tell people the way, the reason your life is the way it is, is because of the same reason my life was the way it was. Why? Because of the things that I didn't know that I thought I knew, right? Because of things that I wasn't aware of, because I didn't understand, and you probably don't understand that you have a financial conscience. Yes, you have programming of how your money works. So for most people, I call it the 90%, which you know, the 90 cons the 90 percent consists of the people that all think alike, right? Uh, you know, go to work, get go to first go to school, get a degree, get a good job, go to work, work hard, buy a house, buy a bunch of liabilities, save for retirement, invest in the stock market, you know, stuff like that. And that's the 90 percent. The 90 percent they're all going to think the same the same way and move the same way. And then I show you that the majority of people are struggling financially. So that, that to me, that means, that must mean that the 90% are doing something wrong. And then I have the 10%. I call the 10% the rich and the wealthy. I call the 90% the poor and the middle class. And when I say poor, I'm not talking about poor like I was, homeless, working poor. You work your butt off, but there's just not enough money at the end of the month, right? So the poor and middle class, they think like the 90%. The 10%, the that's the rich and wealthy. And I'm not talking about money in your bank account when I say that. I'm talking about mindset. There's a 10% mindset. There's a 90% mindset. If you want to have the 10% mindset, put 10 in the comments. If you want to have the 90% mindset, put 90 in the comments, right? I don't expect to see any of those. And so your life, if you have the 10% mindset, by the way, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up if you get any value from this channel or my other channel, The Money Lab. I appreciate everybody watching, everybody viewing. For everyone who's in the master class learning how to build their own middleman business from their phone, whoop, whoop. For everybody that's enrolled in the past week, uh, you guys get about two weeks to complete the master class. And then, because it's got a lot of information and some homework, and then you guys are going to start the one on one trainings with me. So let's have fun. Build a business from your phone, a mobile business. That's the best way to do it because wherever your phone goes, you can make money. You don't have to be at work. Okay. So paycheck, bills, and then broke, right? So if your life, if your financial life looks like paycheck, I get a paycheck, I work hard, get a paycheck. Then as soon as I get that paycheck, I'm obligated to pay bills. And then as soon as I pay those bills, I'm probably broke. Now, some of you could put savings here. You might have a little excess, but most of the time people are at zero or very near zero because there's just not enough money, right? And so this used to be my lifestyle, a paycheck, bills, and then broke. And so I want to share with you real quick uh, just one thing, just one today, that can probably change your life and your lifestyle. So there's nothing wrong with this if you have nothing else. And in fact, if you, like for all my students that are in the middleman class learning how to build a middleman business, I never tell them to quit their jobs. Hey, keep your job. Let's build the business on the side. And then one day your business is going to replace your job. That's the smart way to do it, right? And so paycheck takes away all of your what? Time. Why? Because a paycheck requires you to be at what? Work in order to get a paycheck. 
So they're not going to pay you if you don't go to work. So you have to go to work, which means you have to sell your time. So you're selling 40 hours a week, some more, 40 hours a week, 2,000 hours a year just to get a paycheck. So that's 2,000 hours a year. I can predict where you are and where you cannot be. You cannot be on long lunches. You cannot be on vacation. You cannot be doing the things you enjoy doing. Why? Because you don't own that time. You've agreed to sell that time in exchange for a paycheck. Nothing wrong with that, but that's not how you want to live for the rest of your life. Depending? Okay. Bills. Bills going to disrupt your finances. Why? Because your bills are going to control your cash flow. So when money flows in, it's going to look like this. So money's going to flow in. Uh, show you guys really quickly. Money's going to flow in. So money flows from your job. It's going to flow into your life, right? So it's going to flow in from your job. And then money's going to flow out from your expenses, right? Money exits. Money flows in from your job. You have to sell all your time to get a paycheck. Then expenses in life takes the money right out of your pocket. This is the financial pattern of a poor person. I was like this. Money comes in, money goes out. I was even worse than this because when the money comes in, my money went backwards because I was always behind on bills. So money comes in, money flows out. That's the financial pattern of a poor person. Now that's cash flow. Cash flows in, cash flows out. What you don't see here is assets. What you don't see here is money sticking around. And so what I want to share with you today is I want to change one of these things to change you from selling your time for a paycheck, your bills controlling your finances, and then you having to ultimately live a broke lifestyle. I don't want you to live a broke lifestyle. In fact, I want to get rid of the broke lifestyle and give you a freedom lifestyle where you can do what you want when you want and still make money. That's why I love the concept of running a business from your phone. So whether you do a middleman business or not, or you do anything from your phone, you see that you can be anywhere at any time and still get paid. That's why I love it. I think mobile business is the business of the future. So if you guys want to learn how to start your own mobile business, uh, you can go to middlemanceo.com and register uh, for the next free live training. Or you could just put middleman in the comments below. I'll probably put the training link in the video description. So look for that. And you can learn how to start your own middleman business because, again, at the end of the day, I say this all the time, and this is going to be like, like a broken record, but I'm telling you, at the end of the day, your job cannot, you cannot afford to have your job as your only source of income. That's a dead end. So paycheck, bills, broke, and what we're going to change, we don't want you to be broke. We want you to be free. So I want you to have a freedom lifestyle. We'll just put free right here. So instead of broke, we're going to focus on being free. Now, how do we get you to free? Well, you guys typically, there's one step I left out, and I left it out on purpose so I can show you. Typically, you guys go from a paycheck to a bills, to paying your bills, and into something called a savings account. Now, you guys have different names for it. You call it an emergency account. You call it a rainy day account. You just call it a savings account. Now, think of what those words mean by definition, right? So if you call it a savings account, the only way for that account to be successful is for you to actually do what with money? Correct. Save it, right? If you save the money, you're not doing what with the money? Correct. Using it. You don't use saved money. In fact, I... Uh, submit to you the idea that the bank or a savings account or emergency account or a rainy day account is equivalent to a financial graveyard. Money is only useful when it is used. Correct. Somebody in the back is paying attention. By the way, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up if you're getting any value from this. Help me to grow this channel. The way you help me to do it is subscribing, thumbs up, and sharing it on your video or, or social media platforms. Thank you in advance. By the way, if you have questions or comments or you agree or disagree, you're welcome to put it in the comments. If you're a new viewer, new subscriber, let me know in the comments so I can shout you out. I appreciate that, right? So if you have a savings account, your, your account is no longer successful. It's not successful, I should say, until you actually save. If you have a rainy day account, it's not successful until that account has a what or experiences a what? 
rainy day. You don't want a rainy day. I don't want a rainy day. If you have an emergency account, and this is just going by whatever you call it, if you have an emergency account, then that account's not successful until you have a what? Emergency. I don't know about you. I don't want rainy days. I don't want emergencies. And I'm not focused on saving money because I know money that's not being used is useless. It's only useful when it's used. So I understand that money is a tool and that if I sit the hammer down and never use it, it's worthless. Sure, I can look at it on my phone, but it has no value outside of seeing it on my app. It's only useful when it's used. So think about it. The banks tell you to save money, but the banks don't save money. The banks tell you put money aside for a savings or emergency, but the banks don't put money aside for a service, savings or emergency. My, my, uh, my, well, my advice to you is to don't listen to what they say. Watch what they do. The banks take your money, use your money. Thank you, sucker. Use your money to get rich. I was a sucker too. Not anymore. Now, am I telling you to have no money in the bank? No. What I'm telling you is, instead of focusing on every extra dollar you get and pouring it into a savings account and leaving it there, my, my question is, what are you even working for if you just want to store money in the graveyard? Use some of the money to create more money. Think of the money as seed, not as weed. If it's weed, you, you leave it there, you want to kill it, that's what you do. You put it, you spray it, you put it in the bank, you leave it there to die. Right? We don't want to do that. We want to use the money as seed to produce a tree that produces fruit. That fruit is cash flow. The tree is the asset. So we want to use money to acquire some type of asset or start a business, which is an asset, and then let the cash flow from that give us freedom and lifestyle. As long as you depend on a paycheck, you're never going to have the time you want. Can I introduce you to an idea you probably never thought about? Life ain't about money. Life's about time. You can run out of money, people do all the time, and you can get that back. But in my years on this earth and the, the at least 6,000 I know of years that have existed since the Garden of Eden, nobody's been able to produce more time. So time is the most valuable thing that you have in this world. Your soul, of course, the most valuable thing that you possess overall because it transitions this world. But on this earth, in this lifetime, your time is the most valuable thing. So if you want to spend it on a job for the rest of your life for a paycheck, slaving away, go for it. They'll pay you. You'll pay them more to go to work than they'll pay you to come to work. They'll pay you in dollars. You'll pay them in time. Time is more valuable than dollars, so you pay them more. You pay them. Some people pay the job with their lives. I don't recommend it. It's a sad, sad way to go. So I want to get you to freedom. So paycheck, bills, equal broke. Now we're going to go from paycheck. All right, I got these paycheck. I got these bills. What can I do? Perfect. Instead of forcing it into a savings account, we're going to skip that. And we're going to change the name. Yes, you change the game if you change the name. So from now on, we're not going to call it a savings account because we're not focused on savings. We're going to use some of that money to change our lives. Right. So instead of piling it in the bank account, because I'm sitting there, you're sitting there, you're smart. You're sitting there going, wait a minute, where's my money? So the bank, you told me to save my money and you took it and used it. You didn't save it. No, because your your account to them is a liability. Even though they pay very low interest, they do pay some. So they have to pay you for that money sitting there. So the bank is a business. They're going to use the money to make money, pay you very little or nothing. And they're going to continue to do it over and over. The bank is one of the best business ideas ever because the bank, think about this. Well, the banks and Goodwill, you know why? Because you guys give them free product to sell. Goodwill, you go and donate all your extra clothes out of your closet. It doesn't cost Goodwill anything. They sell it for a profit. You bring them product to sell for free. You go to the bank, you leave your money in there. It doesn't cost the bank anything. They pay you 0% interest. The bank use your money to get rich. You give them free product. Yes, the banks sell your money. It's called a loan. They sell it for interest rates, right? Or for interest. That's a loan. So from now on, I dare you to stop calling it a savings account. And now on, refer to it as an opportunity account. If you call it a savings account, your mind's only going to think about saving. I told you, you got to change everything. You have a financial conscience, subconscious, your program to call it a savings account, to think about it that way. 
I dare you to change it. And from now on, you call it an opportunity account. If you start calling it an opportunity account, you'll start looking at it as an opportunity account, which means you'll start opening up your mind, right? Your brain waves, your, your, your thoughts and your process would, uh, well, your thought process would now be geared more towards opportunity. So now if you have an extra $1,000 in your account, right? You might, uh, you know, before watching this video, you might look and say, or uh, let's say you got a hundred, you know, you got a thousand dollars saved out of your check or whatever, right? And you're going to, instead of saying, Hey, I'm going to pump this thing into a savings account. And then I'm going to say, why are you sitting money in a dying account? Because here's why I say that I have a friend, good friend of mine works very hard for his money. And I called him one day and I was like, bro, you should be doing this, that, that's your calling. You know it. Why are you not working on it? He was like, man, I go out and I make like, you know, 150, 250 a day extra, just working DoorDash. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. What do you do with the money? And he said, I just save it. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why put in the work and give away those hours for money you don't need? And he was like, I do need it. I was like, for what? And he was like, I don't know, I guess to save it. I was like, listen, I'd understand if you're behind on your bills or you got a goal in mind, you're trying to accomplish something. I got that. Sure, go get the extra money. You're behind on your bills. You got something you're trying to save to get. Gotcha. Uh, but he was just packing it in the account. He didn't need it. I was like, why go out and get something you don't need? Why not use the time to build yourself, build your business, build your brand and change your life? The money's not even worth it at this point. And so that's why I always tell you, if you guys get an extra thousand dollars, you park it into a savings account, that's dead money. You just bury it. another funeral I got to go to because you keep burying money, right? How many funerals have you been to? Financial funerals. You keep burying money. Your friends keep burying money. Your family keep burying money. Again, so the goal is to take this, no longer savings, uh-uh, bank, I'm not about to make you rich and give you free product. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pump that money into an opportunity account, guys. And so when I get that money into an opportunity account, guess what I'm looking for now? Opportunity, right? Opportunity to do what? Multiply. I want to multiply my money. So I see my money as seed now, not weed. I see it as seed. Now I'm going to plant this money and multiply this money and eat the fruit. So what does that look like? Well, now that I got the money in opportunity account, I might take a portion of that. I might take 500. Move that into acquiring an asset, right? Move that into an asset, A, B, or business. Let that thing produce cash flow. What does that equal? All the way over here, freedom. If you live off a of paycheck, you'll never be free because a paycheck requires you to sell your time. Your time is what makes you free. If you don't own it, you're not free. That's slavery, financial slavery. And it's voluntary because you don't have to do this. It's voluntary. So somebody said it, somebody well, well said it once well and well said. Uh, when they got rid of the handcuffs in slavery, they, they got the new slavery, which was uh, financial slavery. Now it's paychecks the new handcuffs. And so I want to get you out of financial bondage, financial prison, financial slavery. And so you've got to start taking, taking risks, small risks, be smart, and jumping into an opportunity, start looking for an opportunity. And then you get that opportunity, invest in it, let it grow, create cash flow, and then use that cash flow to live your life free. And eventually you'll be able to come back here and say, I no longer need this paycheck because I listen to this random guy, handsome guy, by the way, on YouTube who told me, get rid of my savings account. Think of it as an opportunity account. Start looking for opportunity to invest in. Use the money like the banks do to make more money. And then once that's, that system is put together and that process works, then I'm free, fire my job, fire my boss. Does that make sense? Smash the thumbs up if this is making sense to you. So I hope this helps. Uh, that's what you need to do the next time you get paid. The very next time you get paid, stop thinking about what I can save. Think, start thinking about where can I find opportunity. Uh, most of you, you get paid, you get an extra $500. You say, what can I buy? Don't do that. Say, what can I try? Just change your words. It'll change your life. What can I buy? No. What can I try? This guy on YouTube said, I need to try something with this extra money. I'm going to send it in the bank. It's going to be dead anyway. I'm not using it for anything anyway. I may as well try something, right? 
And don't always be negative sitting there telling yourself, well, what if I, what if I lose? What if you win? Start being positive. What if you win? Might change your life, might change generations from now of your family lineage. That's how I look at it. Hey, I got an extra thousand dollars. I need to turn it into an extra thousand dollars. What if you lose it? It's lost anyway. If I put it in the bank, what's the difference? May as well try something. So that's all I'm telling you. I know this video bless you. I hope you guys smash thumbs up and uh, come on into the channel and you're welcome to screenshot this, whatever this is, my drawing. But again, I hope is I hope something I said challenges you, challenges you, opens up your mindset and 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 changes your life, changes your perspective on finances. So I haven't done a video in a while, but I hope this again, I hope this blesses you. Uh, if you guys have questions or comments, you're welcome to hit me up. Uh, you can email me if you want to get into the master class and you, and you need to create up some payments or a payment system or something like that. You can email me middlemanceoinfo at gmail.com. If you want to dive into the master class, go to middlemanceo.com. And if you want to get registered for the free live training, the link is going to be in the first comment below and the description below. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. I hope this blesses you and touches you in every way. And if you, you, uh, uh, if you like anything here or if it makes sense to you or challenges you, just help me out by putting a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So the No Fluff Financial Channel, that's what this should be called. But uh, anyway, guys, let's get into the habit of controlling our own lives. Let's get into the habit of doing what we want to do with our lives. Let's get into the habit of being free and feeling free. Life's going to go by. Time's going to pass you by. 10 years, 20 years, it's going to blow by. All of a sudden, you're going to look back and go, man, I wish I would have taken that guy's advice. And now it's too late. Don't let that happen to you. That's a tough way to live. All right, guys, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. See you guys in a free live training Thursday. Peace.